I released a video called How to Become a Professional Footballer. And in that video, we talked to William Olaremi John. He's a professional, he's played in countries all around the world. Right now he's playing in Finland. And he was nice enough to take the time to make a video. And in that video, he basically broke down what you should be doing if you wanna increase your chances of playing professional in some country in the world. Now, I got such good feedback from that video that I asked Will if he could do another video and the great thing was he was happy to help out because he loves helping young aspiring players just like you watching this video. And in this video, he's going to talk on a few more specific topics. For example, he's going to talk about what to do if you're in a country where football isn't the major sport, it's not very popular. What to do if you're at a young age and what to do if you're at an older age and time is quickly slipping away. So let's check out what Will has to say and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, what's up? We are going to continue to have a look at what you guys need to do to become a professional soccer player. If you have not looked at the first video, there should be a link right down below. Have a look at that. That's going to give you guys a good idea of what you need to stay away from and some stuff you guys need to prepare in order to get your journey started. I've gotten a lot of good questions and I'm going to try to answer as many of them as I can. We are also going to take a look at what some of you guys can do if you are not in a country that has a huge football market. This is a video about the specific steps you need to take in order to become a professional soccer player. So most of you guys wanna play in the top leagues of Europe and that is perfectly fine. Uh, I've been getting messages from guys in India, in Colombia, in Kenya, in Egypt. Most of you guys have the same complaint and that is that the football structure is not the same over there as it is in say the US, in the UK, or Germany. Point number one, start where you stand, okay guys? I've gotten so many messages from guys that are interested in trying to get to the top leagues in Europe, but they don't have a team where they live right now. Remember, if you want to get there one day, don't think that you're just going to make that jump from over here to playing with Ronaldo just like that. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm not saying that you won't be the first to do it, but chances are if you don't have a local team, then you need to get one first. Whether it's an amateur team, whether you're just playing pickup games, you need to start somewhere, okay? You need to have a team and you need to be training. End of story. And it should be obvious that the better team that you play on, the better chances you're giving yourself of becoming a pro, of being seen by scouts, of being seen by agents, and people that can actually take you to the places that you wanna go. But regardless, you cannot skip this first step. You need a team. And if you're thinking, that's my number one problem, I can't get a team, let's try and figure out how we can do that. If you are between the ages of, say, eight and about 17, the best team that you can probably be on is a professional team's academy. Now, being on a professional team's academy does not guarantee that you will one day be a pro, but what it will do is give you a much better chance of being seen and getting a lot of respect from agents and scouts who can then maybe take you to another club, to another country. Should increase your chances of becoming a professional soccer player. However, it really does depend on where you're at. If you are in a place like India, it would probably be beneficial to know PSG, Manchester United, and Liverpool all have professional academies in India and in other places as well. You need to be going after the best team that you can. You need to be getting the best training that you can. And just as important, you need to be taking a lot of video, okay? We need to see your game footage, okay? We do not need to see you running through the park, juggling the ball, sprints, balancing the ball on your head while you're on a moving car. The reason I'm telling you that you need to go and search for the top team isn't just because you need the best training, it's also for when you are older and you are trying to look for an agent or trying to get the attention of a scout who can then take you to one of these clubs. And if you're wondering how do you get on one of these academies, they have tryouts, usually a lot of tryouts. They have scouts as well, so it pays to be on the top team in your city or at least a very well organized team. Point number two, it should be clear by now that I do not think you need an agent until you are 17 or 18. So if you are a little bit older in your late teens or 20s, you should be looking for an agent to promote you to these clubs. You are going to make it fantastically easier on yourself if you start looking for agents that are in your area that you can meet and talk to. And Dylan had great advice when he said to look to some of the other teammates or to some players that you know that they can actually introduce you 
to agents and to scouts that they know on a personal level. Older guys, if you have not yet been a pro and you are not training with a professional team, you need to look to an amateur team while at the same time sending your game footage out to agents and scouts that can actually promote you. I was also getting asked how I trained growing up and I will definitely make another video about how I train because it's very similar to stuff that I still do today, especially in the off season. It's keeping me very fit, very sharp, keep my technical ability up, keep my shooting, my passing, and everything really crisp. I hope this helps. Remember, there are tons of ways and different opportunities available to you to become a pro. Don't be afraid to try things like open tryouts and combines if you are old enough. But remember that many of these are set up to make money, and if this is the only way that you are trying to get a professional contract, it's not gonna help very much because it costs a lot, plus you're not gonna get any feedback on what else you need to do to get better. Don't stress if your team doesn't win every game or every championship. Just relax and enjoy the game. That's when you're gonna perform at your best. If you are committed, truly committed, to becoming a professional soccer player, keep training, keep playing, and have fun. Good luck. As always, some fantastic information in this video, but only if you choose to act on it. So let's quickly recap what he talked about in this video. Now, what I wanna say is the earlier you can start, the better. Be serious about it at a young age and you're gonna give yourself a huge advantage. The big problem is most players kinda enjoy football, but they're not serious about it until they get too old and then they're like, oh, I should've gone for it, okay? If you're watching this video right now at a young age, take advantage of the wisdom that this man has just shared with you. So if you're very young, get yourself into a youth academy. Like he said, even third world countries may have professional academies, Man United schools, Arsenal schools, Chelsea schools, okay, whatever it is, you need to do the research and you need to find what is available in your area. Then you need to do whatever you can to get in that academy. That may require you starting in a lower academy and then working to advance or getting on an amateur team and training really hard and contacting that academy and trying to get in and being very persistent, okay? So think about getting into a youth academy. If you're at an older age, you need to be on a team. Some of you out there, you say you wanna play at a top level, but you're not even on a team, okay? You need to change that right now. Even if you get on the worst team in your area, it's better than not playing at all. Game experience is everything. You can train your skills all you want, but it doesn't matter because you're gonna get in a big trial or you're gonna get in a real match and you won't know what to do. You need to build up that match experience, okay? The other thing that he said was so important is record, record, record. Develop that game footage, high quality game footage. So even if you're at a young age, get your parents to record your games. You can use that recording, that game player video that you're gonna make to apply for these youth academies or to contact an agent one day or to approach a team one day, okay? But if you're not recording your matches, you're not building up that footage. So get your friends to help you out, get your parents to record, pay a stranger to record. The more footage you get, the better your video is going to get. Now, don't make that video very long. Remember what he said, don't put stuff like you do in juggling or jogging or training on your own. You want real match experience. And I'm gonna put a link to William Ola Remy John's highlight video. So check out that video as an example, but also check him out, learn some stuff from this guy. He's a very talented player, very inspirational for young players watching this video. So I'll put that link in the description of this video. And, um, yeah, I think that's really all I wanted to touch on. Record, record, record. The great thing about recording your games too is it's also gonna give you a little bit of motivation, okay? Think about every time you're being recorded, well, it's not just the people around there watching your game. It's not just the people at the game. If you put that up on the internet, well, there may be hundreds, thousands, millions of people watching that video one day, okay? So it'll give you a little more motivation to leave it all out there on the field, okay? So guys, I want you to watch his highlight video like I talked about. I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video. I'm also gonna put links to his social media, to his Instagram, to his Facebook, to his Twitter, and to his website, okay? Will is, he's a really great player, but he's also getting into coaching and training, and I know he does some camps in the off season, so if you want more information about him or you just wanna learn more about him, learn from him, stick with him for the long run because I guarantee you he's gonna be putting out some good stuff in the near future. If you guys like this video, please like, please comment, please share this video and comment below. If you have any questions for me or you have any questions for Will, I will do my best to forward that to him or answer the questions myself. 
Thanks again for watching this video, guys. Remember, please act on this information. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Talk to you real soon.